Okay, so we got the throttle body off. It doesn't look that beat up, but we're gonna do tests on it. There's tests you can do on it to run it to make sure these are open and closing properly. Look, they're really smooth, but we'll see how beat up they are when we uh, test it. These look kind of burnt up. These might need swapped. Those don't look that difficult to change out. It looks like two screws and you just put the plate in. So we might swap those. These don't look difficult to change out either. Two screws. Um, looks like the same concept. Um, might have to swap those, but we're gonna do that. That's the throttle body. I've never been this deep into a motor because I got the whole top of the motor off, the valve, um, and then the uh, throttle body. Now we're gonna work our way down. After we get down through this, the head gasket is this piece right here. And that's the, the head, but this is the whole area that I'm really concerned with. Um, but I've never looked into the motor like this to see. It looks like you can see the, uh, the uh, piston heads. You can see that in there. I'm gonna go to each one, see what they look like. That one in the corner looks kind of beat up. Cylinder one and four had the most oil in the heads. But um, we're gonna go over all of them before my phone dies. See, you can see the cornering on that. It looks kind of beat up. So hopefully this motor isn't blown, you guys. But it looks like there's lots of uh, wear in here. This was the worst one. This is number four. This was the worst one. We're gonna go through all this. For some reason, this was ran. I don't know if there's not enough slack on it, but they ran that right there on top of the motor head. I was thinking I could pop it out and run it to the side, but I don't want to run into a problem later on that it doesn't fit. So we'll see how that goes.